Hi everyone and welcome back to Ottanta Passione from the Roland Garros. Today was uh, another rainy day in Paris. Who knows if Woody Allen will make a sequel of A Rainy Day in New York called Two Rainy Weeks in Paris. For sure, the world number one, Nole Djokovic, was not affected at all by this weather today. He won in three sets, six love, six two, six three. A very uh, solid performance from uh, um, the, the Serbian player uh, who was wearing uh, an outfit uh, white with uh, some spots of, uh, of red. He was uh, uh, super smart um, and uh, probably even had a new haircut. So he was very cool, uh, uh, Nole. Um, so because there isn't too much to say uh, in terms of uh, performance, uh, because probably the opponent was not uh, on the same level of uh, um, Nole, um, I would like to listen with you 30 seconds of his uh, uh, pre-tournament press conference where uh, Nole shared with the journalist a very interesting uh, Serbian proverb. in our country from uh, from your mouth to the God's ears so I'm really hoping that what you said will uh, will come true <laughs> and that I'll be able to, to you know to win the title I mean obviously I, I wish for that I'm very motivated I'm, I've been dreaming of Roland Garros title for many years and losing in the finals uh, you know three times before winning in 2016 that has been one of the highlights of my career one of the most beautiful moments that I ever experienced on the tennis court and, uh, well, I'm hoping this can be another year, you know, I'm really hoping and, uh, you know, let's, let's see what happens. Je vous aime. So I think it was very uh, funny to hear that. I, I, I believe, you know, Nole, uh, it's, uh, it's fantastic in front of the press conference. Uh, I still remember is uh, not too bad in front of uh, Ubaldo Sganagatta, the, the Italian journalist who was just uh, repeating the number of titles that uh, Nole won after, I think, his uh, uh, win last year against uh, Rafa, the Australian Open. Um, so uh, Nole, for sure, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is a great, very entertaining uh, person, not only on court, but as well uh, off court. Uh, just going back uh, slightly to uh, last night, because, you know, the matches uh, uh, finished quite, quite late, uh, uh, Daniel Medvedev, number four in the world, lost yesterday against uh, uh, Fuksovic uh, um, in, uh, um, uh, in four sets. It was for him his fourth consecutive loss at the first round uh, at Roland Garros. Probably uh, Clay is not uh, um, Daniel's uh, um, favorite surface. Uh, to be honest, I, I was quite surprised because I think uh, he, he went through, um, uh, um, uh, you know, kind of a, a, a period where he uh, improved a lot uh, mentally. And uh, I was very surprised for, uh, you know, from, from his defeat uh, uh, just yesterday. Uh, at this point, uh, uh, for, uh, for Nole, it's uh, uh, even easier probably to, to reach the final. And I have to say, I watch uh, uh, both... Um, uh, Nole, um, Tim, and as well Rafa, and uh, looking at the first performance, you know, the first round, uh, I still consider uh, uh, Nole and uh, Dominic Tim the favorite for, uh, for the final uh, win. Uh, just moving on with, uh, with the men, uh, Berrettini won in three sets, as well the South African uh, Kevin Anderson, I'm very happy for him because he went through a very difficult time, a lot of uh, injuries, uh, uh, so I'm very pleased for uh, the uh, 2018 uh, Wimbledon uh, uh, runner-up. Rublev, the Russian who won just last Sunday in Hamburg, had a fantastic comeback, two sets down against the American Sam Querrey. And let's see if uh, Tsitsipas, who is playing basically right now, uh, will be able to do the same. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, the Greek player managed to uh, win the third and the uh, fourth set after uh, losing the first two, and they are uh, three all in the fifth. Just a switching to, to the women, uh, the 2018 runner-up Sloan Stevens won in two sets today, 
Kenin, um, the, the winner of this year, Australian Open, won as well in uh, three sets. Uh, and uh, uh, the same happened with uh, Karolina Pliskova, who won uh, um, in three sets. Uh, everyone was kind of uh, um, worried uh, and uh, was kind of uh, um, making sure that she fully recovered after her injury that forced basically uh, Pliskova to, to pull out from the um, final in Rome. Um, also, Clara Tozon saved two match points against the American Jennifer Brady and won in three sets. So the fairy tale for this very, very young uh, player is carrying on. Um, only 17-year-old Danish player who started basically from the qualifications. We always uh, love when we witness and we see uh, these uh, uh, great stories in, uh, in tennis and these uh, new emerging uh, uh, players. So uh, all the best. I wish you all the best, Clara. Carry on and uh, uh, just uh, um, give us uh, other uh, incredible uh, uh, performance. Um, so tomorrow, uh, just moving, you know, switching to, to tomorrow, uh, we're going to have uh, uh, interesting matches on the, the um, Philippe Chatrier. Uh, Svitolina will uh, uh, start with, uh, with, uh, with the session on the Philippe Chatrier. Uh, after uh, um, we're going to see Serena Williams, who will uh, uh, play uh, a quite challenging uh, match. At the moment, I don't remember if you just bear with me, bear with me. Um, yeah, against Pironkova. So it's going to be another uh, tough one for, uh, for Serena. And after that, uh, Rafael Nadal will play uh, against the American uh, uh, Mackenzie McDonald. As well, Dominic Thiem will play instead on the Suzanne Langlen against uh, uh, Jack Sock, the other American who um, was, uh, fun enough, uh, at the ATP finals a couple of years ago. He was in the top 10 and he kind of disappeared, probably uh, getting uh, better results only in, uh, in the double or the uh, Lever Cup. Um, so for sure, Dominic is, uh, is the favorite, but let's see as well. Uh, um, the weather condition uh, this time probably for Dominic playing on the Suzanne Langlen it's uh, slightly uh, smaller as a, as a court uh, let's see if uh, it's going to, to affect uh, uh, his game um, also just you know I, I thought it was quite uh, funny to, to share with you what basically was the, the press uh, uh, conference of uh, Dan Evans uh, uh, after his uh, loss uh, uh, against the Kini Ishikor in the in the first round, um, as you know, a lot of players complain about these new uh, Wilson uh, balls. Uh, not only Rafa, but uh, other players. And uh, and I think that Dan Evans basically said that these balls are so bad that he even he didn't even um, uh, would give you know them to his dog for uh, for chewing. Um, as you can imagine, uh, um, a lot of players said that uh, they criticized the, the decision of the organization uh, to, to play, to introduce these, uh, these balls uh, um, at the Roland Garros this season uh, with such a heavy weather, uh, heavy uh, conditions, uh, in particular because all the players uh, um, use the, um, during the pre-season preparation that was much shorter than usual uh, in uh, Hamburg and Rome, the uh, Dunlop. Uh, or until last year, they used basically the, the French Babolat. They are definitely much lighter. Uh, they um, uh, basically work better with the players with a great top spin like Rafa and uh, Dominic Thiem, uh, for, uh, for instance. Uh, but let's see what, what, what's going to happen. I uh, just wanted to leave you with a, kind of a funny story. Uh, also, Mats Willander, uh, made some some comments that to be honest i didn't particularly like uh, regarding andy murray after that he lost uh, against uh, stan vavrinka uh, questioning if uh, it's the case for andy murray basically to keep uh, uh, getting uh, wild cards and eventually you know um, taking them away from uh, uh, younger uh, uh, new generation players i have to say that i have a total respect for andy murray uh, I think he totally deserved uh, that, considering uh, uh, what he went through uh, uh, during his entire life, not only when uh, 
you know, he was a child uh, and what happened, you know, uh, in his school uh, in uh, Scotland, but also the, the, the two uh, major surgeries that he had to his uh, hip. Uh, so I think he's a, he's a role model and an example for, uh, for everyone. And uh, I'm very happy for, uh, for Andy. At the same time, just uh, 10 days uh, before, uh, Stan Wawrinka lost in two sets. One of them, uh, uh, he got a, a bagel, a six love for, uh, from uh, Yannick Sinner. And, uh, and now uh, the, the Roland Garros managed to, to beat Andy Murray. Tennis is very strange. It's all up here. You know, they, they, they talk and they say, you know, tennis is the sport of the devil. So I think, uh, um, as I keep saying, uh, never underestimate the heart of a champion. I'm pretty sure Andy Murray deserves, you know, uh, a, a great uh, farewell. Probably is going to be next year at Wimbledon and I'm uh, pleased to see him still uh, playing and trying hard. That's all for now. Uh, leave your uh, uh, comments, your likes, mi piace if you like this video. Um, bring new friends, um, share this, uh, this video and, and as well if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please do it. It's very important to, to make you know, the, the channel better and uh, uh, growing. That's all for now. Let's keep enjoying a great tennis. See you tomorrow. Have a lovely evening. Ciao!